everyone and welcome back to Excel VBA tutorial series. In this chapter I will talk about how can we save data on Microsoft Access database using Excel VBA. At the same time while saving the data we will also capture the execution time, the amount of time spent that it takes to save data on Microsoft Access and this is the data that we are looking to save. So let's jump down to the developers tab and Visual Basic. You may want to ignore these two lines of code because it's solely to capture the amount of time that it takes to save data. So to start off with, you may want to define, um, let's say, dem new con as adodb.connection. Now, you would need to set up this as um, a new adodb.connection. This is nothing but the connection that we'll be maintaining with the access database. So. Um, now that this has been set up, what you may want to say, um, you may want to also define a record set, a record that will be held within this connection, within this database. So let's say dim record set as adodb dot record set, and then again you may want to assign this back to a new adodb dot record set. Um, once you have done this, we will now establish an active connection with the access database by saying new con dot open then in quotes you will say provider equal to microsoft.ace.oledb.12.0 um, and then you would mention the data source which is none other than the path where your access database is stored so for me I've stored it on desktop I will just right click go to properties I will grab the path right from here and um, I will also grab the name of the database which is right here and finally I will grab its extension which is available right here which is ACCDB. Now once I've got everything I will just close down the quotes and finally I will say um, now that we've established a valid connection I will say record set dot open which will be none other than the table that's held within the database. So I've just opened the database and my table is called table 1. So I will say record set dot open table 1 comma active connection is the connection that we've established with new con. Again comma I will say add ad open dynamic and finally I will select um, this. Now, I will say, um, now that we've established a connection, we've opened a new record set. Let's say record set dot add new, which would do, which would add a new row on the table one. Now, once we've done that, we can say record set dot fields zero, which is none other than the index from the left. So, from the left, the first column is actually have, has an index of zero. The value equal to range a2 dot value, which is none other than the value over here. And similarly, record set dot fields one index one, which is the second column from left dot value, will be none other than range b2 dot value, which is the hobby. Once we've done this, finally we just need to say record set dot update and record set dot close, which should pretty much um, do everything for us. Now, once you've done that, um, finally we will get the time that it took to complete this execution. So we will say um, range h3 dot value equal to end time minus start time. This will give us the amount of time that it actually took us to complete this execution and save data on the access database. So let me just jump down and just assign this macro quickly to this button that I've created. Now on clicking on to this button, um, as we can see the access database has opened up which shouldn't have been the case. Um, so let me quickly see what's the error and why has it opened up. Okay, so I, it seems I have assigned a wrong um, macro to this. It's actually not open macro, it's um, save on access. My bad. So let me just try clicking on this again and as we can see it took literally 15 milliseconds to save data on Microsoft Access which is probably the quickest or one of the quickest. Let me just open this quickly and see what is um, the data um, that got stored in the Access database. So it seems like there's an issue as this is not opening up for some reason but um, that's pretty much um, save the data on the access database using the simple code and well within a very fast time as we've noticed so guys this is pretty much how you save data using excel to access database so thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for more